Set up speed cameras in Portland has turned up some surprises. A new state law allowed the city to install those cameras this year. Okay, the first set went up on Beaverton Hillsdale Highway in August. We found out it's had a quicker effect than expected. Lisa Balick out there live tonight in the neighborhood. So what's happening, Lisa? Well, there's warning signs before you come up to the camera, and people read the warning signs and they learned to slow down pretty quickly. We've been out here several hours, and just about a minute ago, we finally saw our first flash go off. The program is set to expand. The city rents the two sets of cameras and equipment here from a private company for $6,400 a month and says it is collecting enough to cover costs. I asked why not remove the warning signs and flashing speed signs, but I was told the cameras are not meant to be fundraisers. They're doing their job, lowering speeds 90% in the first month alone. So now the city will move to put in more speed cameras in other dangerous spots. Oh, this place is a drag race right here. Hector Edmondson's lived near Southeast 122nd for many years. Even though the speed limit here is posted at 35, we saw plenty of drivers going a lot faster. Dozens of homes bordered the section of 122nd between Foster and Powell. It's the site of a lot of crashes and injuries in the past. The city put in flashing beacons at some crosswalks. It's not enough. If you try and cross the street here. They usually do stop when I cross easily. Sometimes, sometimes, not really. And I uh, mean, you try to walk across there, you got to make sure they're actually stopped before you cross it. And they actually blow through this, they actually go through the red light a lot of times. That's why 122nd near Ramona will be the next to get speed cameras installed, planned for January. Southeast Division and Marine Drive coming on as well. I found out the reason they're not all up at once, though, is that the city doesn't want to overwhelm the courts with hundreds of speeding tickets. Now, the price of those tickets, about $160. By the way, the state gets 70% of the money, and it is state law that they have to have those warning signs before the cameras. But again, the program will be expanding very soon, starting in January. Also be rolling out in February and March elsewhere around the city. Live in southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Point Six News.